Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share a super quick tip for you that will save you a lot of time when you're working on your website design. So basically, Squarespace has this awesome uh, duplication feature that works for pages, blog posts, and products. What this basically does, it allows you to duplicate an entire page, and that's super useful if you have like a fully fleshed out page that you have that you like the layout of and you don't feel like creating it from scratch all you have to do is just duplicate the page and rename it and it's done for you this is super useful for like sales pages opt-in pages uh, services pages when you're trying to create a single service a single sales page for your service for individual services not for entire like packages and um, yeah for blog posts you can create a blog post template and then uh, duplicate it over and over and over again to save you time when you're creating blog posts, and basically anything else that you really like the layout of, but you don't feel like creating from scratch. So the way you do it is you're going to go to your Squarespace dashboard and click on any of the pages that you want to duplicate. So let's say we really want to duplicate the layout of this home page. You'd simply click on the cogwheel icon for the settings, and under general, you'd scroll all the way down and then click on duplicate page. And then it'll ask you if you're sure you want to do this. Click on confirm and it'll create, create a copy of that page. Now what you want to do is rename it. So let's say um, you want this to be a landing page, I don't know, or something like that. So you'll rename it here. And then what you also want to do is click on the settings icon and then go under general and make sure that the URL slug has been changed to the new name because sometimes it doesn't take and it will create a slug like uh, home2 or home copy or something like that which isn't very SEO friendly so you want to make sure that the URL slug has been changed as well so we're gonna call this landing page and then I'm going to click on back and under SEO you'll also want to change the title and the description and under general, also make sure that the page title and uh, has been changed to reflect that this is a new page, so you don't have weird page titles. So that's how you can duplicate uh, basically any page. And as you can see, everything that was on our home page has been duplicated. The only thing you really have to do now is change out the content for whatever that for whatever you want to be on the new page. And let me just show you how you can quickly duplicate a blog post. Basically, you're gonna go to the blog page, and then let's say you wanna duplicate this blog post title one, click on the three dots next to the blog post name, and then click on duplicate, and that'll create uh, a copy of that blog post as a draft, and then you can go into the settings, and under options, uh, you can change the post URL. You'll definitely want to make this more use more SEO friendly than this and you'll also want to change the status add your content optimize it for SEO and basically add your content change the title of the blog post and anything else so that's how you can duplicate blog posts and it works the same way if you have products on your website lastly let me just quickly show you how you can duplicate products products basically you're going to go to your store and then you're going to click on it like you want to add a new product for sale only instead of doing that you're going to click on the product that it's all that's already there and you're going to click on edit product and then you're going to scroll all the way down and click on this duplicate link and it'll basically create a copy of that product and then you can change the title the description add images change them out change the pricing and basically do everything else as if though you're adding a new product from scratch the only difference is that layout it's already there so you don't have to worry about adding any specific blocks and that's basically it on how you can use the duplication feature to duplicate pages in Squarespace 7.1 and it basically works the same way in 7.0 uh, the duplication feature has not changed has not moved so it's under the page settings under general and that's it for today's video if you liked it i would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and if you want to see more content about squarespace be sure to subscribe to my channel i publish new videos every thursday and if you're in the process of building a website uh, i have a free roadmap that walks you through the entire process step by step 
and you can download it by going to ladiesignstudio.com forward slash free. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.